Well, Obama's defense of the NSA's constant surveillance of all Americans just reached a new level of absurdity when he compared them to Paul Revere. After blatantly lying, even they realize they don't have any credibility. We're putting out mindless propaganda is what some of us feel that we're putting out and that what the American people feel that we're putting out. What's a tyrant to do? Well, you could pull in some corporate billionaires who work hand in glove with the NSA. I'm sure that would help. So it's not as though uh, government surveillance is absolutely bad in all cases. Is, is, it, is it done in a way that uh, people trust that the uh, normal privacy concerns are, are being adhered to? It's interesting that Gates would be talking about trust. Microsoft was the first company to partner with the NSA on violating your trust and spying on you without reason and without a warrant. Internet companies want you to trust them with your data. And the government wants you to give your data to a third party like Microsoft so they can get that data without a search warrant. They merely ask companies like Microsoft, and Microsoft eagerly turns over all of your information. But it's not just Gates with soothing words for the public. Mark Andreessen, Netscape founder, now venture capitalist, took to Twitter this week to defend the NSA. And government cheerleaders in the press were relieved that Finally, someone had the guts to defend the NSA. Andreessen tweeted, I increasingly feel like we're on some gigantic collective fainting couch. Oh my word, I can't believe that spy agencies spy. In the US, we all collectively hired tens of thousands of our fellow citizens and gave them $75 billion a year with a mission to spy on our behalf. Do you notice the subtle lie here? It's not that the NSA is spying on our behalf, it's that they're spying on us, illegally. He completely loses the context of FISA. The F stands for foreign, and it was created because we learned in the 70s, during the Church Commission, that spy agencies weren't just spying, they were engaged in all kinds of criminal activity as well. The purpose of FISA was to restrict the CIA and the NSA from spying domestically. But Andreessen tries to confuse the issue further by saying, to suddenly turn on them and blanket accuse them of comprehensive illegality and moral horrors is unfair to them, and it lets us off the hook. Is it unfair to accuse the NSA of comprehensive illegality when they lie to Congress, when they violate FISA and the Constitution, and spy on all Americans without a search warrant? Andreessen has been trying to cover for the NSA from the very beginning of the Snowden leaks trying to muddy the waters by claiming that the NSA critics are too stupid to understand the technology involved. American citizens, as well as non-American citizens, direct access, no oversight, no court order, these very sweeping claims. And the thing that's been so frustrating from my perspective is the sort of issue of technology in our society and the Internet in our society is a central issue. And to talk about it, you actually have to, people have to understand the technology. People have to actually be willing to understand the technology. And the original reporting simply did not understand the technology. Andreessen saying critics simply don't understand technology couldn't be a bigger lie. Multiple NSA whistleblowers told us about illegal surveillance 12 years ago. William Binney, who had worked for the NSA for over 30 years, who was the global technical director for the NSA, knew exactly what the NSA was doing. Then when I found out they were starting to do the uh, spying on everybody in the United States, I felt I had to get out of there because I couldn't be a party to that. I would be an accessory to subverting the Constitution, uh, which incidentally, in my view, that's what everybody's doing, including that uh, the judge who just ruled that it isn't that it's lawful. Benny resigned because he understood the technology and did not want to become a criminal. Andreessen wants to muddy the waters with technology issues and say the public doesn't understand the mission, that NSA employees don't understand the legal constraints. And he tweeted that we have a simplified cartoon version of an evil NSA. Well, former NSA technical director William Benny tells us it's not simplistic or cartoon, but the same techniques that he witnessed in totalitarian societies for decades. That's what I see. That's what I've been seeing from the beginning, only because I had all that experience uh, working the old Soviet Union. I mean, you know, that, that, that having that experience made it very clear what a totalitarian state does and how it operates. And finally, Andreessen is telling us it's nothing new. That we've known about this for quite some time. Yes, we have. We've known about it for 12 years from whistleblowers, and InfoWars has been telling you about it for a lot longer than that. It's all been illegal from the beginning. That's why they've been hiding it.